All right, thank you so much, Christina. The Peter and Will Anderson trio is made up of twin brothers. One plays the clarinet, the other the saxophone. A guitarist who's not related rounds out the trio, and they join us for Music Monday. Peter and Will, good morning, along with Frank DeBusolo. Thank thanks, you so much. for coming in. I feel like you're so far away, Peter. Come I'll in move closer. in a little bit. Come in closer. I don't want to talk to you that far away. Tell me how you guys got started in jazz music. Sure. Well, uh, my brother Peter and I are from Bethesda, Maryland, right outside of Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. And um, our parents were not musicians, but they're big jazz fans. And uh, one day we were watching television when we were in the third grade, and a commercial came on for a product that we loved which was Chips Ahoy Cookies. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were enthralled, and the soundtrack to the commercial was Benny Goodman playing the clarinet. And we thought to ourselves, if we want more cookies, we're gonna, we're gonna start playing the clarinet. Is so right? we got obsessed with Benny Goodman and early jazz, like Duke Ellington and Count Basie. Mm -hmm. You all had an opportunity to play for the soundtrack of Boardwalk Empire. Tell me what that was like. We did, yeah, that was a thrill. I mean, anyone who's seen the HBO show knows that it takes place in the Prohibition era. So it starts in the teens, goes through the 20s and the 30s. And um, we were lucky to play along with one of our mentors, Vince Giordano. Um, so we got to play all that great music music from the 20s and the 30s. A lot of the same music we'll be playing in Allentown on October 18th. Awesome. Now, does being twins bring a special element to your performance at all? That's a, that's a great question. I mean, we've been playing together um, now for um, almost 25 years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot about playing jazz is improvised. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, when we play here in a few minutes, uh, we, we don't know the notes that we're going to play. We have a general shell of the format, but we're using a lot of uh, communication just by looking at each other and listening to each other. And uh, we really respond to each other. So the fact that we've been knowing each other so long and we can read each other's cues really helps. That's cool. And you mentioned you're performing in Allentown on the 18th. Correct. Jazz Upstairs at Miller Symphony Hall. Correct. At 7.30. Yes. Yeah, and we're going to be doing a tribute to Artie Shaw and Benny Goodman, not only performing their music, but talking about their careers and the impact they had. And what are you playing for us this time? We're going to be playing a song by George Gershwin called Oh Lady Be Good. Okay. Take it away, guys. All right.
right, thank you, Steve. The Peter and Will Anderson trio is our guest this Music Monday. And if it looks like you're seeing double, you are. Because two of the members, Peter and Will, are identical twins. And they came upon their love of jazz music at a young age. Good morning once again, guys. Thank you. Now, you were telling us that the Chips Ahoy commercial that you heard the jazz music kind of got your juices flowing. Right. What kept the juices moving as you got older into the teen years and interested in jazz? Oh, that's, that's a great question. Um, I mean, we started kind of amassing a, a collection of recordings of jazz. Mm -hmm. um, starting with New Orleans jazz, you know, recordings like Louis Armstrong and Sidney Bechet, and kind of moving through the history. And we we noticed that as we we're listening to these recordings, that each individual player had a very unique style. Mm -hmm. So we could listen to a recording, and within a couple seconds, we could tell you who it was. Okay. And that's really why we love jazz music, because yeah. you know we we try to emulate the style of these people um, who I mentioned, like uh, like Charlie Parker mm -hmm. and Benny Goodman and some of these icons. But we also form our own individual style. Yeah. So I like to say that my brother and I. Um, have a lot of friends that we know quite well and they actually cannot tell us apart physically because we look similar but when they hear us play immediately they say oh that's Pete or that's Will. Wow good <laughs> job guys and why Artie Shaw and Benny Goodman why are they so special to you? Well yeah Artie Shaw and Benny Goodman were two heroes of this instrument the clarinet they played in the 1930s and this was a time where radio was just coming on big uh, there was a swing dance craze all across the country and they just made jazz popular and accessible mm -hmm. uh, to mainstream people so when we were in high school, this is what really kind of reached to us. And actually, as part of our visit to Allentown, we're going to be playing um, a two-hour workshop called the Youth Jazz Lounge for 150 high school kids in Allentown. And that's going to be the morning before our performance on the 18th. And this is something we had when we were young. We looked up to professional musicians, and we hope we can give back to the students. Awesome. Is that still open, or is, is everyone, has everyone been selected for that? That's going to be closed to the public, okay. but the concert in the evening is open. All right. Well, hopefully all the kids that want to be involved will be involved. Um, what are you going to hoping most people enjoy about your show on the 18th that night? Well, um, we're going to be putting some of the music that we're performing into context in, in American history. You know, Benny Goodman and Artie Shaw were kind of like the Justin Bieber of the 1920s and 30s. Mm -hmm. um, they were re pop stars, and it's, it's hard to imagine that, you know, a pop star would play a dorky instrument like this. But somehow they pulled it off. They brought together the sounds of, of Louis Armstrong and uh, Tin Pan Alley and Broadway music in New York. So they uh, were the first to racially integrate their bands and they brought together the sounds of many of the Jewish composers like we uh, played earlier by George Gershwin, um, Irving Berlin, Cole Porter, Jerome Kern uh, with, with different parts of society and different musical styles. Peter, what are you playing for us next? We're going to play a song that was played by both Goodman and Shaw, and it's called Moon Glow. Okay.
you with a little more snippet of Peter and Will Anderson trio. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.